so quiet and smooth. Can't fall asleep though. <laughs> Let me say stop. Bit of a grey day today, but the sun will be out tomorrow. Hey. Three hours on trains, we've arrived. <laughs> Cheers, we've arrived. We have arrived, got a new friend over there. And this is where we're staying the next week. This is our base for the next week. Fantastic. Cheers. Cheers, Elaine. We've just arrived in our room. Look how sweet that is. Look what they put on the bed. How sweet. Ah, oh, the chocolate on each bed. And this is our view. How pretty is that? That's lovely. That is really, really. Oh. <laughs> Lay has just broken the room. Some of the cloud has gone. So that's an amazing sign for tomorrow. So we're really pleased we're here, but we're somewhat tired. So we're going to have a bit of a nap and then we're going to venture out a little bit later. See you later. So it's just gone five o'clock and we're now going for a quick, quick look around. I said, oh, you'll be able to see the mountain in the morning. You yeah, can. Right. Right there. And if you can hear that noise, that is the sound of the train we've got to jump on. First full day in Wengen, the surrounding areas. We're going on an eight hour hike up into the mountains and heading towards a lake. The strange thing is around here, it doesn't actually tell you how many miles or kilometers your hike is. It tells you the number of hours, but we're going to track it today. So hopefully by the time we've completed the hike, we will know how far we have hiked. Yeah, we are heading into the mountains today, but that particular jut of rock, we're definitely heading in that area today. <laughs> we're on the train. We're ready to go. We want to go, come on. Right. 
Right, we need to find the bus to Stetchelberg. Stetchelberg. Not many songs with the word Stetchelberg in it, is it? Stetchelberg. Do a stick check periodically. Two sticks at the back. So we just wait for our bus to arrive to take us to Stetchelberg. I think it's pronounced Stetchelberg. Heading into the mountains. Look at that for view up there with that waterfall. Wherever you look, the chances are around here you will spot a waterfall. That is absolutely amazing. So, we've just gotten off the bus and now we are going to go on the cable car. Figure out where you are, where you're going. We are heading up there this morning, not to the very top, but walking round it. We have to go in that direction to get there. So we're heading towards Imtal. I'm Tal. Or I'm Tal. <laughs> no, I'm Tal. I'm Tal. <laughs> that way. Stunning. I think we'll be saying that a lot today somehow. It's just stunning. Amazing. Stunning, beautiful, wonderful. Wunderbar. Okay, we're heading up. We've already gained a fair bit of height. But we've got to go all the way up there. Mm, as much as warm as it's steep. Mm. It is quite steep at the moment, isn't it? That is very much up. I don't know if the camera shows how steep it is. The lane's zigzagging to the top. That's where we're going, and that's the first sign we've seen with that on it today. It is, isn't it? We didn't tell me we were going to see any bears in Switzerland. <laughs> nice view ahead. Flattish. Onwards. So, an hour and a half to Tans Bodeli and to Obersteinberg, two hours. And if we look at the map, are you pointing out? So that's an hour and a half away. That's an hour and a half away, and it's about two hours to there. I think we're here. -ish. The plan is we're heading for. For the lake. You look at the top of that mountain that just looks like an avalanche waiting to happen that snow's leaning over at the top hopefully not on our watch we're the other side anyway the spot where we're at now says to the lake two hours 
and then back down two hours fifty. Hmm. We're at 1,978 metres. This is our view. There's a helicopter going along there. You can see for miles. Hoping we can have a quick drink here. <laughs> yeah, I think we can. So that's where we had a nice cool drink, and it was delicious and cold. And now we have to decide where we are going. I think the idea here shows that mountain. If you look through here, you can see the very top. That's the actual mountain. And that's how high it is. Wow. We think we're going to give the lake a miss because it's another hour and ten. We won't get home till nine o'clock. We wouldn't get back till quite late. A couple of cows blocking our path. Do you think? The size of them bells. Come on, fella. Come on. There's a goat there. Two cows. Oh, he's coming. Normal service will resume shortly. Come on, then. Come on. Off you go. Going that way. Hello. Can I go that way? Yes. Hello, Mr. Cow. Hello. What's your name? Daisy. Mm. Hello. I'm going this way. Bye bye. Off you go. There we go. You. You'll go. Noisy bunch, aren't we? Stetchelberg. This way. A nice view here. Unfolding. Mm. And that must be going straight ahead. And we've got to go that way to get there. So we're nearly at the end of this hike. About 50 minutes, I think. 50 minutes. But the question is, is this hike safe? It is safe, but overall it is actually quite challenging. If you're not used to taking steep hikes, steep ascents and steep descents, it's probably not really the hike for you. We've managed it, but even we were struggling. Even we were struggling. By the time we've completed this hike, we will obviously put on the total miles. Um, and altitude. And altitude as well. Well, we're here for the whole week. 
So we're going to judge as many hikes as we can. But once you got to the top, out of the woodland, the views have been spectacular. But there has been woodland in the beginning half coming up and the final part coming down. You wondered when it would stop going up. <laughs> no, then up. We, we, then up. We, we did wonder when it was going to stop going up, but we have also wondered when it was going to stop going down. It does, um, does uh, put a strain on your knees coming down, but we are here. We've completed most of it. Because <laughs> we've still got another 15 minutes to go back to the bus. So safe, yes. Challenging, yes. Yes. Stetchelberg and the bus, 40 minutes. The other thing as well about this hike, it is a long hike. If you want to head up to the lake, you really do need to start early in the morning. We've missed the lake because we realised we were running out of time. And even by the time we get to the bus, it's going to be close to half five. Um, if we'd done the lake, I don't think we'd probably get to the bus stop much, much before about half past seven, maybe even close to eight o'clock. If you want to get to the lake, start early. Nearly back at Stetchelberg. I think we've spotted one of the cable cars coming down the mountain. Literally the place where we started this morning. And this is our bus to take us back into town. So we've arrived in Murren. We're now going to walk through the village of Murren. And then we're going to head up to the James Bond experience. And it's difficult to tell, but we are actually moving.
Wrong number. Okay, off you go. If you think I'm coming to meet you, I'm just going to show. Well done, you. Here you there. Here you there. Oh, was that broken? You must be mad. Wave. <laughs> That's where we were earlier today. James Bond. <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Bond. Back down in Murren, but we're shortly to go back up on the flower trail. We're going to be going up there. Flowers here if you want to go on the playground. Van der Weg. Does that mean footpath? Seen lots of those. Trail. So we're gonna do the mountain view trail, which this is where we are here, and it's gonna take us back to pronounce it? Fruit scalp. Okay. Then from there you get the table car back to me. Okay. That'd be a nice walk. The Mountain View Trail. We just can't stop taking photographs or filming the scenery because it's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Pick away. Well, where are you going? On this route.
this looks fun. Oh, you can hear the cattle bells. It's a lovely sound as we're heading down. And we're at the station. Another successful hike. Absolutely beautiful. Walking alongside the mountains with the views. Amazing. That is where we're going this morning. It's about 20 to 8 in the morning. We're at Vengen train station and we're waiting to catch the train to take us to the top of Europe. <laughs> It's got a lot colder. We're heading into the ice cave. And it's freezing. Is it slippy? Even on foot? Ice everywhere. <laughs> We're about through there. I don't know, but oh, it's oh. <laughs> Oh, it's gone dark though now. Yep. 
It does remind me a little bit of the Empire Strikes Back when they're in the ice hideout. Sunglasses on. You don't say. It's a good idea, isn't it? I wonder if they do a cup of tea. That's where we're going. You can imagine that collapsing, can't you? Fingers crossed it won't. We are on top of Europe. What a view. Three thousand five hundred meters. Three thousand five hundred meters. Wow. Oh where we're standing. We'll see what happens when we get to the top. Well, we have got to what they call the hut and what a height that was. You can't even see where we came from. Wow. This is incredible, amazing, and there's a restaurant up here as well. Wow. And this is where we are. Right, I think I'll eat my cake now. Um, hey! <laughs> All gone. Didn't we enjoy that? <laughs> Coffee's gone. Well, it's gone a bit quieter now. Gonna hike back down. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Perfect opportunity to get the drone out. What is it? <laughs> Tell 
tell me. Where are we at the moment? We're in Kleiner Scheider. Kleiner Scheider. Correct. And we're going to hike. Back to Bengen. On a beautiful afternoon. So come with us from this beautiful town here in the mountains back down to Bengen. Lower Lane's just rolling her walking trousers up. <laughs> it's got really warm this afternoon. There's two trails back down to Wengen. There's a short one that runs alongside the train track and then there's the other one which goes close to the mountains which takes probably about an hour more and we're going to do the one by the mountains because it looks prettier. It's the afternoon now and we've got away from the maddening crowd. We have, we have got away from the Just maddening me crowd. And you yeah. On the trail. There's no one in front. No one behind. Let me just show you. Enjoy the views and the sound of our footsteps. <laughs> oh, no, look, look, you can just see where we've come from. Up there. See? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, top of Europe. That's where we were this morning. Again, that way. Trails, quite a few wildflowers whilst we've been walking. Some of them are quite unusual, some of them are not so, but all very pretty. We've even spotted the odd mushroom too. Well, we always get the impression cows in Switzerland are quite tame. We've already experienced cows in Switzerland. Let's see what it's like a second time. Lane will make me go first. Will she? <laughs> yeah. Shall I go first? Oh, okay. I have to walk. Uh. Oh. Oh. Right.
I've trodden in a cow pat. Well, they were quite harmless. Other than I trod in one of their poos. Oh well. We've just come out here. Stunning. We've definitely taken the long way back to Wengen, but the views are, are amazing. There's also a waterfall there. This is the view in front of us. That's Murren over there. We're heading in that direction. Down there is Wengen. This may be a train station. If it's a train station, the last few moments of our journey will be by train. Because we've been hiking on this wonderful hike for about three hours. These people haven't walked, not like us. <laughs> Packed. Is this something we said? So this is where we are. Where are we going to? Grindelwald. Grindelwald. And then possibly out to first to do the first cliff walk because it's been recommended by a friend. Cool. first at 7,113 feet and now we are going to head where we're heading to first cliff walk and Balchapsi Lake. Let's go and have a look. Well this doesn't look scary at all. Oh, it's got to be done. <laughs> Let's join the queue. That's good, it's good, it's good. Bench with a view. And what a view. Bench with a view. Hot. Cold. Hot. Cold. And she swim. Uh, it's 
Oh, all right. We're going with the cable car today to the mountain of Manlichin and then we're going to walk all the way down. Should be doing that every morning. That's our target this morning. Let's go. That is the Eiger and that is Jungfrau. where we've been and we're now going to head towards Kleiner Scheidegg. That's the one.
playing I go I go no I mean I go our hotel is great because every morning at our breakfast table we've got sandwiches ready for us all good sandwiches a snack and a piece of fruit all part of the service of our hotel isn't that marvellous great stuff <laughs> okay what are you looking at Ray? oh oh it's a good view isn't it Oh, we're both on the swing. That's great fun. Whee! <laughs> We've reached our goal! Kind of shies to nine and nine, man. Kind of shies? Kind of shies nine and nine. Kind of shies nine Pun? <laughs> You've put me off. Go! Kind of shy, isn't it? No way. Kind of shy. It's a lovely place anyway. That's where we're going. Cheers to Switzerland! Cheers, Lane! Taking the cable car up to another mountain, this one here. I still find it very, very difficult to pronounce a lot of the villages and towns around here. It's another gorgeous day. It's almost at the end of June. We're still having this heat wave in Europe and obviously where we are in Switzerland. But it's gorgeous. By coming up here today, we should be walking a longer trail, which takes you above the lake. And we've been told the views are amazing. Mentioned that lake earlier. Let me show you. That is beautiful. I think we're heading up. We have got to go up there. Okay, successfully got it there. And now, oh my goodness. Up here.
should be able to find somewhere to stop here for our picnic. While we're here, we can jump in the snow. Thanks, this is our lunch. <laughs> Provided by our lovely hotel. And this is our view. Today, then. Mm. Look at that over there. Is there any more to get coffee or anything? I hope so. Ooh! <laughs> Chilled, I hope. Let's try. Let's see what you think. It's going to last us all the way back. No! No! What a nice route to take back. All the sign, there are always signposts to point you, hopefully in the right direction. I think we've got used to them now. Well, Elaine spotted it. Uh oh. <laughs> 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 For almost a week. One cloud. Brace yourselves. Thunderstorms ahead. <laughs> nice to see a little bit of cloud. Just to give a bit of perspective on how big those mountains are. just been dropped off and we've been dropped off here Trummelback Falls again I apologize as always if my pronunciation isn't very good
Good morning. This is our, well, this is our last morning in Wengen. We go home today. We've packed, ready to go. But we are going to spend the whole of this morning. It's about two. To 2.30 in Wengen. This has been our view from our room for most of the week. <laughs> and we've had blue sky all week. <laughs> right, we're packed, we're ready to go. Let's pop into Wengen. <laughs> what? Okay. Without you, I'll switch off now. Right, we're walking to Hunenflu, which was recommended. We popped into a gift shop and the nice gentleman there said, Oh, if you're leaving today, make sure you go to Hunenflu before you leave. The views are supposed to be amazing. We're going to turn it into a little bit of a circular, but we have to go that way to Hunenflu. There's a little snowman on the side. Don't think we're going to find any snowmen there today. But it's this way. Find a morning of hiking and exploring. It's that, it's that sign again, Elaine. Yeah. Warning you of the beast, the beast. <laughs> the beast of Engen. Yes. The beast of Vengen. <laughs> That's so cute. There's no beasts after all. Just little fairies. So, Elaine, yes. what's been your favourite walk or moment? I like the mountain trail walk. I really enjoy the mountain trail walk. I like walking to Cornish Ivy. I love walking in the snow. That is nice as well. Um, yeah, walking to the hut in the snow was probably one of my favourite. Um, was probably one of my favourite things. That was amazing, wasn't it? And this is another lovely walk as well. Thanks to the shopkeeper. we can see where we went yesterday we went up a little train took us to the top of there and we walked from there all the way to that viewpoint over there but we were looking over at the lake but yeah it was a good walk yesterday
we get in there, Vengan? We get in there.